I did say FCS. Yes, we're going back up to the FBS here. <laughs> it's a good thing I got Grant there who can keep me, correct me on my mistakes, keep me on the on the righteous, straight and narrow path. We'll start in the game that is Friday, the Pac-12 Championship, USC Utah, 6 p.m. Friday on Fox. ABC. I believe. I believe it. ABC is it ABC or ESPN? I think, you're right. I, I think I was wrong. It used to always be that Friday on Fox. Yeah, on Fox, yeah. Uh, but uh, USC is looking to avenge their uh, their only loss from the season, which was a 43-42 loss on a two-point play in Salt Lake City. Stand up, Cam Rising. Yeah. And USC right now – oh, no. Okay, yeah, I do have him as a three-point favorite. It is on Fox. Yep, it's 6 oh, p.m. Right, on Fox, so there you go. Did, I, did you say that right? USC is th only a three-point favorite? Yep, and okay. that game is okay. in, in Vegas at uh, Allegiant Stadium, and right now Caleb Williams is the go-ahead, by far and away, favorite to win For the Heisman. I think he's going to need another Heisman performance. The defense, they've got their stud back, who played last week against Notre Dame, and they seem to be – Playing better. What USC's gonna have to force some turnovers in this game. And I think they they've been running the ball a little bit better too. Uh even after uh Travis Dye has gone out. I feel like they've been a little bit better running the ball. They were really good. Caleb Williams running the ball. It seems to be they've taken the uh taken the reins off him and let, cut him loose more in the run game. He definitely ran all over the Notre Dame defense on Saturday. Three, three and, touchdowns. And uh, if, the, if Caleb US, USC wants to get a spot in that playoff, they win and they're in, I think. I, I I would agree. I mean, you know, if you look at win and they're in, you know, wins against Utah, uh, Notre Dame, Oregon State's looking like a good win now right there in the college football playoff rankings and UCLA. Um, but the one thing, if I'm Utah, you know, and I want to win this game, Dylan, you need to keep Caleb Williams in the pocket because when he goes off script and he goes Mahomes, it's 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 magic time. I mean, he's either he's either going to run thirty yards backwards and get back to line of scrimmage and have a crazy completion, or he's um, you know he's going to scramble and he's going to take off and he's going to make plays with his legs. So you know, Utah has to keep him in the well. Um, because if they don't, you're 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 in trouble with that. But then also, you know, can USC's defense can they make Utah kick field kick field goals and maybe force an early punt or two? Because Utah's offense is feeling good; they're flying high. Um, I know they lost two weeks ago to Oregon, you know, putting up 60 points against Colorado last weekend, and even the, the weeks before that, this Utah offense feels like they got it figured out. So can USC's offense, like defense, excuse me, continue to play well like they did last week against Notre Dame and get after Cam Rising and, you know, maybe cause an interception or two or, you know, a couple early punts? Because uh, if they can't, it, it could be a four-and-a-half-hour game in Las, Las Vegas because you know, these teams are going to score. <laughs> yep. You know, like, like you said, they scored 85 points when they played in Salt Lake City. They might put up another 85 points, uh, you know, Friday night in, in Las Vegas, but – Utah, you got to keep Caleb Williams inside that pocket. And uh, for USC's defense, when Utah has lost this year, Cam Rising has had some bad interceptions. Um, and you need to make them kick field goals in the red zone and not touchdowns. Yeah, well, and, and that's been one of USC's calling card on defense because they give up a lot of yards, but they've been able to force turnovers, which has kind of negated yeah. that. And if they're able to do that, I, I have you have to like USC's chances. Uh, do you remember who you had uh, in the Pac-12 championship at the start of the year? I did. Um, I got one of the two teams correct. Okay. I said Utah, Oregon. Okay. With the Utes winning the winning the conference. Yep. Uh, you you and me both actually. And I think Ethan did too. I think we were a clean yeah. sweep on Utah. Yep. Yeah, well, Ethan had Utah winning it all. He did. Yeah. He's he, he's good for that. Yep. And. Uh, yeah, then, so we'll see 6 p.m. Friday. 